Hello, I decided to add an addendum to my first premiere video. It's the same day, I'm home now. Um, I originally said I was going to try to edit that little mess up with my camera out, but after watching it, it made me... <laughs> Oh, it made me laugh so mad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it made me laugh so much. I decided to leave it in because maybe somebody else wanted. <laughs> Ah, and now I just practically pooped my pants. I don't know if you heard any of that. Oh, dear lordy. Okay, get it together. Okay, ah. Man, I don't know why that just hit me so funny like that. Anyway, so I decided to leave that in. And I'll obviously leave this in. <sighs> they say laughter is the best medicine. And I do enjoy laughing at sometimes some of the silliest stupid things it does you know i guess it all depends on what your sense of humor is um i've always felt i have a pretty good sense of humor and but anyway i'm tearing up from laughing so much um so now what was i gonna say um so i'm home now and uh oh this is the whole point of this video I decided to share something kind of personal because stuff happens. You never can always plan for how things are going to go in your day. Now, any of you that have spent any amount of time in the hospital have probably used a bedpan. It's probably makes you feel like you're at one of the lowest points in your life because it really humbles you. Um, and depending on how with it you are at the time, you may or may not remember any of it. So the less you are with it, probably the better. But regardless, I um, was at dialysis today. Now, a mixture of a lot of the medications that I take on a daily basis, which I won't go into all of them right now, um, give me a fair amount of flagellance. And um, every day. So you can't hold it in because your head will pop. So and that generally, I think a lot of people that are mean by seems like they're mean by nature, are people that don't fart. Because that pressure has to go somewhere. And it usually goes right to your brain and presses your brain against the top of your skull and it makes you mean. So anyway, I'm at a point in my life when I don't purposely fart in front of people if I don't have to. Um, but, it, and it depends on who I'm with. Let's all be honest. Some people enjoy a good fart more than another than another person. Regardless, anyway, and I'm going to stop saying that word because I hate it when I watch people in videos and they use the same word over and over and over again until they beat it to death. So, I'm at dialysis. And let's say uh, this past weekend I had some 
intestinal issues. And so when you start having gas, sometimes you're a little gun shy because you sure don't want to shart when you're in public. It's not like, you know, you can do a whole lot about it if it happens. Now, one of the biggest issues about being at dialysis is you sit in a chair for anywhere from three to four hours, depending on what your treatment time is, minus four hours, and there's no getting out of that chair. The only way to get out of that chair is ending your treatment and then disconnecting you, and then you're done for the day. So if you don't get your full treatment, you put yourself at risk every time. If there's any reason you are going to miss dialysis, you put yourself at risk. I've never missed a dialysis appointment. I don't understand people that do, uh, unless they're already in the hospital or something. But anyway, um, so if you have to go to the bathroom, your only choice, and for a man, you have a urinal, or if it's the other, you have a bedpan. Now you're sitting in a room with 11 other people. A chair to your right, unless you're at the end of the row, and a chair to your left with a dialysis machine between you. But still, you can see everybody. So they will kindly come over and bring one of those rolling screens and curtains to block you from the view of everybody else. And then we'll assist you with as much as you need or as little as you need. So I was having a lot of gas pains because I wasn't letting the gas go. And I was nervous that if I did, I might shit myself. So I've been going to dialysis since August of 2017 and have had to use a urinal a handful of times, never have had to use a bedpan, always make, try, make sure I try to do any of that business ahead of time. But like I said, sometimes stuff happens and you can't plan for it. So I asked for the bedpan. Now, when you're a big guy like me and I'm six foot three and Right now, I'm about 240 pounds. I used to weigh over, well over 300. I was close to 400 at one point in my life. But I've been, I hovered around 300 for quite a while. And ever since this has all happened to me, I've dropped my weight. And uh, the lowest I was down to is about 225. But now, since I've been home and I'm eating normally again, I put on a couple pounds, but I'm steady. So, but when you sit on one of these little plastic bed pans, they're not very deep. So, you basically are sitting partially in the bed pan. So, it's kind of difficult when you have to do what you do, and then you're kind of almost sitting in it. Well, I had to, you know, do my business and which relieved a lot of the pressure I'd been feeling. But, you know, it took me a long time sitting in that chair to decide to ask for that bedpan. I looked at the treatment clock on the machine, and I had two hours left at that point. And there's just no way I was going to be able to hold it for two hours, over two hours, actually. So, I uh, broke down, asked for it, and did that, and then did my best to lift myself up so I wasn't sitting in the bedpan, and um, then cleaned myself up to the best of my ability, and, you know, and then they put a towel under me just in case I missed something, you know, but, um, 
But like I said, I just figured I'd share that little story with you because it made me realize, you know, this is just another one of those things that people all over go through the same kind of stuff. And you're going through your day and this is like from out of left field. You just don't ever think about this possibly happening. You know, because you, you've all had emergent diarrhea. Let's just be blunt about it. And when it comes, it comes. And you can do your best to try to hold back the dam. But, you know, if you're not successful, it's going to be much worse than if you try to take care of it. So, you know, like I said, as you're going through your day-to-day, -day, realize I had this happen to me and... I, I'm not embarrassed about it. It's part of life. Uh, like I said, at this point in my life, with the amount of time I've spent in hospitals and care center and so forth, I don't have a whole lot of shame anymore. And and I just, you know, stuff is going to happen, and you, you know, you just deal with it the best you can, and smile and laugh about it if you can, and. Um, but that's not what I was laughing about earlier. I was laughing about how when you, if you, when you watch the first video, you'll see, and it's just, I decided to leave it in because it was, again, a thing that happens and I don't intend for these videos to be all professional and, you know, transition and effects. I was just watching a short video about how to edit, um, videos on your phone and so forth and. Um, it got too complicated. I was like, I don't need to do all that stuff. Add background music and titles and I don't know. So anyway, maybe I will in the future. Who knows? We'll see. So be good. Um, make wise choices. Uh, when I laugh, I shake like the freaking Santa Claus jolly old man. And I'm watching it on the camera in front of me. It's like, holy crap. Just shut the heck up. So, anyway, if you wonder what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my my Marion Indians shirt. That's a local high school team. It's where I live in Marion, Iowa. And I have my Cedar Rapids uh, Colonel's hat on. It's a local... Uh, uh, I don't know if they're AAA or AA uh, ball team here locally in Cedar Rapids, and they have a beautiful park. But anyway, not to ramble off, I'm going to sign off for, for now, and uh, we'll talk again. Have a great day. Bye.